The function of a septic tank is to separate the particles in uh, wastewater that will settle or that will float. You can see what we have is little fine slots that keep the uh, solids from passing out with the, the effluent because that's what you want is as clear a water leaving this uh, going out into your lateral field as you can possibly get. What we have here is a conventional uh, septic tank. Uh, it'll be followed by a distribution box and a, a lateral field to absorb the liquid. What we have here are uh, three examples of, of distribution boxes. The key things to remember are that uh, they need to be set level, you need to have access to the surface, and uh, they, they do need to be maintained. There are several different types of lateral field construction available. Uh, this is a gravelless pipe. Uh, there are also conventional systems, chamber systems, shallow place systems. One of the commonly used systems is a low pressure pipe distribution system or LPP. In an LPP system, you always have a conventional septic tank first and then your treated effluent, rather than flowing to a lateral field, will flow to a pump chamber. Okay, what we have here is an above ground representation of a low pressure pipe uh, distribution system. Uh, what you have to imagine is all of this going on underground in a gravel filled trench. And what this allows you to do is to put the, the treated effluent any place on your site that, that has the best conditions for you. You, you may need to do this because of soil conditions, you may need to do it just because of site topography, but LPP systems are, are pretty commonly used in Missouri. What we have here is a fixed film biological treatment system. What it consists of is it's, it's a, this tank that's packed with lots and lots of little tiny foam cubes. This is a submerged fixed film biological reactor. We use a, a blower with this system to maintain aerobic conditions. And what that means is there's uh, free oxygen available in the wastewater for the microorganisms to grow and live on. The drip irrigation system has several key components in it. We're gonna have a pump tank. We're gonna have a pump with a set of controls in it. There's going to be a flow meter. There's going to be a filter that filters the last tiny little particles before we actually go to the drip field. Then we're going to have a return line with a pressure gauge on it that we'll use to set the pressure on the drip field. We have another type of advanced treatment system here. This is a suspended growth uh, biological system. This little piece of equipment here spins. This shaft is hollow and it sucks air down into this shaft and disperses air into the water. Another type of on-site system is a single cell lagoon. Uh, it's basically just a uh, a pond that the wastewater from the home comes into, accumulates, and algae provides oxygen for the biological treatment. We've looked at a lot of different types of systems. Uh, one of the things that I, uh, I think is a pretty good generality for you to remember is that the more advanced systems do work better, they cost more, so you get what you pay for there. All of these systems, even the conventional system, require maintenance. Pump your tank when it's needed, 
fix something when it breaks. Otherwise, systems are going to fail, and that's not really what we want for our environment here in the Ozarks. I'm Rick Helms, and it's been a pleasure talking with you.